that would not be a nice day for oh, me. In some ways, I suppose it's like having it's kind of like having an X-ray. I suppose, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you're right, though. You hit them hard enough, and they fall to bits. But that would be the same for you. <laughs> If, so, but we, we would try not to hit yeah, you except hard what I'm, the bits that <laughs> I fell into. No one's considered them fundamental <laughs> no. bits of Neil, but, right? But the other way to think about particle physics, which is I think, so you say the Higgs particle you mentioned. So that's not in the proton. You, you're not you're not smashing the things together and finding a Higgs particle buried in there somewhere. The other side is really so you think about Einstein's famous equation E equals m c squared. So energy and mass are interchangeable, let's put it like that. So it also says that if we have loads of energy in these collisions, then we can make new particles that are extremely massive, much more massive. That would come spontaneously out of the available energy that yeah. would otherwise be, be doing nothing. Yeah, that. So, so we have, uh, when you collide protons together at these energies, you have plenty of energy there to make a Higgs particle, for example, uh, or a top quark, which is a very heavy particle as well far more massive than the protons so so that's i suppose the way to think about trying to manufacture higgs particles so you can observe them you need enough energy to make them so you're not just busting them apart you're creating an opportunity to view more massive particles than would otherwise be available to you yeah 